Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm Dr. Amron, and we have to continue through the Gerudo Fortress here. And I went the wrong way last episode, so this episode, I will go the correct way. And it's down here. You know what this should... Oh man, somebody should totally spoof, like, a solid snake type deal when sneaking through this fortress. And whenever Ling comes across, like, a Gerudo, he should have that, like, exclamation mark above his head. Or I guess the Gerudo would. But then, yeah. And totally make the, you know, all the music could go with it. Man, I wish I could totally do that. But I'm not that skilled in editing. I'm sorry. Or else I totally would do that. Wow, that would be so fun to do. Very epic. But anyways, this is the last guy here that we have to save. So let's do it! Wah. Wah, watch my feet! Yeah. You're too slow! Yeah. Crossboard hungers! Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. And the last key. I was afraid you were going to forget about me. Now I'm free. Thanks. I'm Shiro the Carpenter. For rescuing me, I'll tell you something interesting about the desert that I overheard the Gerudos talking about. They said, in order to cross the haunted wasteland, you'll need the Eye of Truth. The Colossus is on the far side of the wasteland. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my tent near Gerudo Valley, so drop by sometime. You may find something helpful there. Bye! And he skips away like the pansy he is. Oh boy. What? Hey! Somebody caught me. I've seen your fine work. To get past the guards here, you must have good thieving skills. I used to get that... <laughs> I used to think that all men besides the great Ganondorf were useless. But now that I've seen you, I don't think so anymore. The exalted Nabaru, our leader, put me in charge of this fortress. Nabaru is the second in command to the great Ganondorf, king of the Gerudo Thieves. Her headquarters are in the Spirit Temple, which is at the end of the desert. Her headquarters are in? That uh, doesn't sound right to me. Say, you must want to become one of us, eh? Alright then, you're in from now on. Take this. With it, you will have free access to all areas of the fortress. Yeah! Obtain the Gerudo's membership card. Alright, I guess we're in the all-female band now, guys. Oh yeah. All about the ladies. Giggity. <laughs> okay, now that we have that uh, pass, we can go into the Gerudo training ground. And we're going to do a couple of mini quests, or mini side quests, I guess, before heading into the desert. So, one try for ten rupees. Alright, I take your ten rupees, give it your best shot. Oh man, I shouldn't have done this yet. Because I'm going to need something. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Oh man, wasted, oh boy, ten rupees, ooh yay. Oh well. Um... Okay, let's make it daytime because... Oh, I shouldn't have. Oh, well. We'll do this first. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I'm not sure if I can yet. But we'll find out. Wait. Oh, man. Okay, good. That's the song I wanted. I want a Pona because we get to do an archery game. At least I think... Oh, Epona disappeared way down here. Oh, man. At least I think she did. Where did she go? Where's Epona? Oh, no. I hope we can do this archer game now. Uh, we might have to wait till later. Where's Epona? Wow. Did she, like, disappear? Oh, she's way up here. Okay. Well, we found her. So let's... I'm gonna see. I don't know, but if even if we can't do the archery game, there is gonna be a gold skill that we can get up here. 
It'll have to be nighttime though, but eh, well. Okay, let's talk to this guy. You have to be riding a pony when you talk to him. Okay. Speak! I said speak! Hey newcomer, you have a fine horse. I don't know where you stole it from, but... Okay, how about challenging this horseback archery? Once the horse starts galloping, shoot the targets with your arrows. Let's see how many points you can score. You get 20 arrows. If you can score a thousand points, I'll give you something good. Do you want to try it? Yes. Alright, looks like we'll get to try this. Sweet. Bang, bang, bang. Okay. This might take me a few times, guys. Yeah, usually I like to get the pots. Oh man, I'm totally not doing this right. No, I'm not. I'm gonna fail this totally. <laughs> oh well. This might be a tough. This might take me a couple of tries. So don't be surprised. Bang! Yeah, my arrows. All right, guys. Well, that's basically how you do it. You just try and shoot the pots and shoot those center bullseyes. So, I'm going to be back when I actually win this stupid game. Alright guys, I'll be back. Alright guys, I'm back and I got over a thousand points, so we are the ultimate master! I'll give you this item. Once you have this equipment, the only thing left to improve is yourself. Alright, we got a piece of heart. Now, we, I think, let's try this one more time, because I think we can play this again. And we will be able to... Oh yeah, we have to be on our horse. We should be able to get the next upgrade to the quiver here. So, I'll see if I can do it. Yeah, we have to get 15,000 points this time. Instead of 1,000. So yeah, this is going to be hard. But, I am up to the task. Oh, I'm already lost it. Ugh. Oh yeah. No, no way. Even if we get a hundred points with the seven arrows left, yeah. Yeah, totally not happening. But at least you get to see this mini game again. All right, guys. Well, I showed it to you twice. So I hope that's enough for you. But uh, I'll be back once I get the upgraded quiver. See ya. All right, guys. I'm finally back, and I scored over fifteen thousand, fifteen thousand or one thousand five hundred sixty, I believe, to be exact. Oh, that took me a while. That's. Wow, that was so bad. I am serious. We can hold 50 now. 50 arrows! But yeah, that was seriously so bad because I actually had to load my state again because I ran out of rupees trying so many freaking times. Yeah, it was that bad. Oh my goodness. Okay, now if we go all the way down here, yeah, I'll just hoof it on foot. Why not? I should be able to make it before the timer is up. Seriously though, yeah, it took me forever. So many tries. Oh, ho, ho. Yep, there's a gold scotilla right up here on the target. So, sneak that guy. Yep, you can totally grab onto those targets with your hook shot. I thought that was kind of interesting. But yeah. What does Navi have to say? The desert, that is where Ganondorf, the evil king, was born. If we go there, we might find something. I think we will, yep. Okay. Call Epona. Come to me, my horse, as Nintendo Pre Sun would say. <laughs> Man, that was funny. Okay, so what we need to do now is 
head out to the uh, desert because I'm not going to do the training ground yet because I need a few more items before I can actually finish it. So yeah, heading over to the desert now, probably get through there next episode, all that kind of fun stuff. Okay, alright, so next time we will talk to this dude right here. So, Godspeed everyone, and stay frosty.